should be illegal for people to spend this much money on somewhere. <laughs> it's got scammed. I'm actually crazy for doing this like a third time. Hello my PG people, welcome back! It's so nice to be back back. I think that this is probably going to be the second or third video in the space of like two or three weeks um, because I've been away for a bit but thank you so much for everyone that left a little letter of love. Well I did take some time off, it really it has helped and meant a lot to me. Thank you to everyone that has been, you know, sending super likes and super chats and super thanks and super, super, super everything. I have actually managed to use a little bit of the money that you guys have been sending me to buy a new microphone. So that's supposed to arrive on Thursday. So hopefully by the next time I film a video, we will have much better audio. If you're new here and you haven't seen my face before, what's up? My name is Alex. Welcome. We do a lot of plus size, mid size, fashion try and hauls, reviews, feel good stuff. So click that subscribe button if you want to be part of the Peach Fam. You can see by the title that today we are going to be reviewing Kim Kardashian's new swimwear line, but it is like a Spanx plus a swimming costume. And I just think that that's a most amazing combo because I think one of the first videos that like got me into this whole family of you guys was um, my Spanx video and now you guys know I do a lot of swimmer reviews so like just combining the two makes so much sense I'm kind of surprised that she didn't start with this one because this is more exciting to me than the original one Speaking of the original one, you guys can go and watch my review on Skim Swim. I'm actually wearing the top right now. Do that before you come here so that like everything makes sense and then come back here. If you have been here, you have seen that. Let's get into it. So the last time I got into like a whole long ass debate about my whole uh, but this time I'm just going to do a quick little timeline for you guys on how my order got to South Africa. Previously with my original Skim Swim, I didn't do it straight through Skims to South Africa. I did it through a company called Shipper2. I have an affiliate link down below. A small part of your order goes into my kitty so that I can reinvest into the channel. So you're welcome to use that if you would like to buy things from co uh, companies that don't actually ship to your country. And this time I did it straight from Skims to South Africa. Just to give you some kind of context over here, I made my order on the 12th of August. It was shipped out on the 13th of August and then I received it yesterday. So yesterday was the 22nd. Nine days, it took nine days to get to South Africa including weekends and two weekends actually and it was via DHL so I think that that's pretty good this is the first time I've ever done this but I paid customs directly to skims and I did that because I really wanted to get the the parcel a lot faster than usual and you know sometimes South Africa and their customs it can take a long time expensive yes <laughs> you guys were shook with the amount of money I've spent on Kylie. I'm kind of numb to it all now. It's pretty much exactly the same amount of money. I know, I know, I know what you're gonna say. It's filthy. It should be illegal for people to spend this much money on somewhere. Okay, so in total I spent 13,580 rand and two cents. It won't make sense for a lot of people, but the way in which I make my money on this channel is by you guys watching, by super thanks, watching the adverts, interacting, um, and somehow, some way, sometimes, I managed to get a little bit of money back. So, here's my little plea to you guys. Please leave a comment down, please leave a thanks, please leave a like, a super sticker in the live chat because it's, it's very scary business this one, it's a real gamble. Sometimes videos just do not do well and you don't get the money back, but here's hoping. So I think on this side, I pretty much bought every single thing except for the skirt. Here is the boxy. It is quite small, so I appreciate that they you know, aren't sending these huge fucking PR box type things. I haven't opened this by the way. Ah. Okay, so we have a little form for returns and then we have a little cute skims paper i love this wrapping i think it's really cute um uh pretty much 
much exactly the same as last time. We've got the Skims logo over there. And then seems to me that it is also the same packaging as last time. So yeah, nothing really new. Um, I wouldn't expect it. So today's haul is going to be a little bit different because secret behind the scenes thing. Um, I always like, I don't tell you about this then try it on. I feel all the items and then I film the try on. Typically, if you know what I do here, you'll always see like the clothes on a rack there. And I feel like I kind of am like giving up the secrets by doing that. So this time you will not see the rack in the background. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> I am very scared that I got the wrong size. <sighs> if you guys watched the last one, you will know that in the bottoms I got a 2XL. Yeah, they were a bit big. They were a little bit baggy. So this time I actually got XL bottoms, if I'm not mistaken, in everything except for a pair of shorts. Yeah. This is the Shaping Swim Tank Bikini Top in gunmetal and then the Shaping Swim Dipped Bikini Bottom in gunmetal. So... Oh, Damn! <laughs> I've got goosebumps. No, I'm not lying guys, I have goosebumps. I don't know if you can see them. What is this material? I wish that you could feel through the screen, but this is something else. I mean, I thought that it was gonna be compressive, but like, what? The back is a little bit more dipped than the front, as you can see over there, so it's more like a square neck. And then you can see over here that it's got a lot of like curvature to it. So I think that's because they didn't want like they wanted it to fit nicely with a pair of like these bottoms that I have so that it goes like this on the waist instead of like cutting in and creating a bulge. This is probably the thickest thing that I have owned or have. Um, let's see what the bottoms are like. I'm guessing everything's pretty much going to be in the same material, which makes me excited for the shorts that we're going to try on. Oh shit. It's in exactly the same material. There's a lot of coverage at the back here. Like a lot. Let's have a look over here. We've got a nice thick and juicy, not juicy, that's gross, <laughs> um, stick it over there, sheesh guys, let us just see, I'm scared, I'm scared, guys, I made a mistake, I really should have thought that like, because this stuff was quite compressing, that I should have got the 2x and that it would have been tighter on me but i did read that it said that it fits as per usual or like normal fit it's not it didn't say that it was tighter that's a bit of a shitty one right but i mean it's still cute i really like the color and i really like the concept um a lot of you said to me in my previous i think it was a cup she haul that i was like being too hard on myself and like the bulgy like that i kept speaking about like you guys didn't even notice it i get that but i think like personally speaking this is just too much bulge for me i don't feel like necessarily comfortable with it not that i think that it looks ugly or anything like that it's just a bit too tight but while we're speaking about the bottoms the back looks good like there is a Definite, definite lift to my peach. And also like a smooth. The front, I'm creeping out a little bit. <laughs> but I'm just making sure I won't because this is a family channel. Well, not for kids, but I mean, you guys are my fam. Thinking about the top, I literally, I didn't think that I would like it this much. But I really, really, really like it. I did struggle a bit to like put it on. And I think because these are so tight, this is rolling up a bit. But... It's making me feel so, so supported and snatched. I don't feel like I'm popping out anywhere. It's giving my boobies some support. I personally like it when things go like extra wide on the side here. Because if it's like too short, then I get like double boob. There is zero see-throughness. I think that the design is definitely peach approved. Uh, sizing is my fault. It's not their fault. But, you know, like gauging off of my previous haul would make sense for me to size down so you know what i mean maybe they need like a 1x in the middle of the x and the 2x the top is definitely peach approved and the bottoms would be peach approved specifically because of peach 
but they aren't just because of the sizing. Um, you can see over here, like, it's squishing so much. How many of you can do this with your stomach? I kind of alluded or well, said that I got a pair of shorts I should just do the pair of shorts next when they had this in the first did they have this in the first drop shorts I think so it's from shorts it just didn't speak to me like I personally wouldn't go to the beach in a pair of shorts just because um no, I mean like swim in the sea just because like of the tan lines I think that they could get a bit weird but then I thought about it now and I was like this would be cool for like hiking if that makes sense like if you went to a waterfall or something like that so that you don't have to have a swimming costume and shorts does that make sense oh i'm so itchy on my knee wow as i mentioned i got these bottoms in an xl a uh, 2xl because i do have a peach <laughs> as you guys know i wanted to just make sure that rather bigger than smaller this is in the color sienna i think Okay, so yeah, this is called the Shapings from Short in Sienna in a 2X. I'm gonna also put the US uh, pricing over here, but this was 1,050 Rand. Oh, that sounds terrible. God, that's really expensive for a pair of fucking shorts, Alex. But damn. Guys, this material is everything. I normally have a big problem with shorts. If they are cotton, they are see-through. If they aren't, then they, after a couple of washes, they do become see-through. And like when you have a badass like mine, finding something that's not see-through is hard. Okay, that's a bit strange though. I do not like that. You see on the back here, there's like these, is it a fold in terms of color? Okay. I hope you guys can see this, but there's like lines down the back over there and they look darker than the rest of the stuff. So that's a bit annoying. This is the front, so there's no seams there. And then the back has one good old line down the G-Wagon. Curious about this, maybe it's like a wash situation. Um, the bottoms over here, it's got like a thicker kind of band, so I don't think this this is the kind of one that's gonna dig into my legs. I hope. You see what I mean? That looks dirty to me. Can you guys see that? Like this weird little coloring issue over there. Did it get wet? And then I got a matching little band down with it. So I think that the, I could wear this out um i could wear it with a whole bunch of things style it with like a big t-shirt with some cool chunky sneakers and some long socks and then this is the bundle which is looking a little bit small oh my god okay i also got this in a large i think yeah i did get this in a large i find it interesting that they give straps because i feel like they don't advertise it with straps but i mean i'm not complaining it's a nice addition i just hope that they aren't like sore on my skin because typically i have very sensitive skin it's just a very normal bra strap with a that is nice um a matte embellishment over there and then these are removable so just in case yeah it's got a nice thick juicy uh silicone kind of lining at the top here so it doesn't like slip down that's one of the big problems with bandeau bikinis is like people never really quite get them right especially if you have like a medium to big boob so hopefully skimmy skimmy got it going on that's interesting this i can tell is quality like she did take time with this because it's actually got boning down both of the sides over here so that definitely helps with the support a little bit small for me Ooh. i'm actually pleasantly surprised by this but I am still kind of frustrated because I feel like I haven't got the sizing down pat. You know, I'm going to be very open and honest with you guys right now. I actually get quite self-conscious about buying the wrong size of clothes. I know it might sound a bit ridiculous, but you know, I've had a few comments here and there of people saying like, that's too small for you, you should have sized up. Like, I know. This top, it's way too small. And... 
Now I thought that I should have gotten extra large, but then again, like the last thing you want is a bandeau that slips down. I really, really enjoy this color. Um, I was a bit scared that like my skin tone would look a bit too similar to it. I definitely got the right size in the shorts. These are a 2XL and I feel super, super sucked in. Like, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but like, I'm having one of those really big fat bloated days. Before this video, I had some pasta and a bagel, so like we are testing this out to the max right now. I do think that it's a little bit, I would have liked it to be a bit tighter um, over here because I can feel like after a bunch of stretching and potentially a bit of swimming, uh, this might get a bit loose. I love the fact that the shorts aren't like cutting me in um, at the bottom because a lot of the time it feels like that and I feel a bit self-conscious about it but like I think that these look great. You can see now uh, they're definitely like squat proof. Um, not that swimming costumes have to be squat, squat proof but I think that these are amazing. What do you guys think about the colour? You think it's nice baby? Okay. So going on to the top uh, when I explained this to you I thought that like these are unnecessary. But I get that they're going to give support, but they are a little bit uncomfortable. Will you sit here for me? Please. So let's take off the strappies and see how it fits. Be careful of that, please. We've been here already. One of the most annoying things about like adjustable straps on bras and swimming costumes is that they don't like come off easily. These come off like a dream. So that is the top without the straps. Let me have a quick little looky look. And I mean, I really feel like this looks a hundred times, not a hundred times, maybe like 20 times better. Because it's not giving so much squish squish. And because of the, the gooey lining over here, it's not like falling down or anything. So I really do actually like this. Hmm. I do wish that I got this top in the extra large, but I mean, I feel like we can make it work. Right? What do you guys think? Do you think that this top is too small in a sense where unwearable? Or do we think that I can make it work? Because I don't want to send it back. I really, really want to keep these shorts specifically. Let me know in the comments down below, please. Now we have a full swimming costume. There were two of these in the collection. And originally I wasn't going to get this one because I just felt like it was a bit boring. If I'm being hundreds with you then I changed my mind and here we are with 1,900 Rand less than we had before in our lives <laughs> I'm actually crazy for doing this like a third time but I mean I get it whoa guys look at the shape of this what I, I'm really shook by the shape I'm shook by the shape <laughs> of this swimming costume. I think if I find a normal, let's have a look at this one. This is just from Cupshe. Like you can see that even though it's like made for curve, look at that curvature and then look at this curvature. That's pretty crazy in my opinion. I love that. Okay, so this is probably gonna be a very waist snatching kind of one. I got these in an extra large because that's typically the size that I would get most of my woo, I was so scared of that candle. Um, my full swimming costumes because I never want it to be too baggy up here. I'd rather have it tight than not. Um, this is in I think what kind of color is this? Cocoa? Coco, 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 coco. My bestie has a dog called Coco. She's so cute. Yeah, so this is in Coco. I did think that this actually had adjustable straps, but it does not. Which is okay, not mad about it, but it would have been nice if it was more versatile. She's thick and juicy. I think the only like different thing about this is like that curve that I'm talking about. I really like the cut of this because it's like rounded, like a half oval moony kind of thing. So that could look really nice and elegant on the chest and I feel like this is something you could wear with pants and then that is what the back looks like um, we have the same kind of matte embellishments which look like quality 
Um, so yeah, do I think that this is worth 2,000 and We will have to see. We will have to see. Whoa. I did ask for like a Moni Shapery right now. I have some thoughts on this. I feel like chocolate brown was a very trendy color, so that's why I was kind of shying away from it, but I actually think I really do love it. Whoa! I've never felt so supported by a swimming costume in my entire life. Like guys, when I tell you that I am bloated today, she is bloated. And like that's a pretty slim trim tummy to me. I was just looking in the mirror and another thing that I noticed, all the time when I buy um, swimming, full swimming costumes, there's like always like a shelf problem <laughs> over here. It like goes straight up. This is pretty much just about touching my back. So I've got that beautiful curve over there, which I really, really can appreciate. The torso on this is relatively short. So that's why I'm feeling like this is a little bit too low right now. I had to really stretch out, put this strap um, all the way at the back. Bottom, 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 yes, bottom. Because where it was sitting was really like very uncomfortable. My boobies are getting flattened a bit, but I don't mind that. Um, there's definitely like support, like I can pick them up and move them around and whatnot. The back um, is giving the same kind of like peachiness that it has before on that grey swimsuit, which I really like because I feel like I'm definitely getting a lift. I think that this is peach approved. Do I think that I should have gone a size up? Um, I don't. I do not. I'm curious to know what her uh, shapewear is actually like now. I know that there's millions and millions of reviews, but if you guys want me to do that, please um, holler in the comments. Looking at the back as well, like I have no bulging necessarily like on the back. So that's why I think that it fits. I love this. I do love it. One thing that I forgot to mention is that I actually got quite a hefty discount because the last time when I ordered skins, they had a bit of a problem with sending me what I ordered and then they gave me a 20% discount which was supposed to be used in 30 days and then I emailed them back and said, yo, it's not working and that discount was like 2,000 Rand. So basically you could say that I got one of these pieces for free. Huh? So this is the piece that I, when I first saw it, I was like, wow, that is stunning. That's the one that I want, right? And I think that this was one of the top sellers in the onyx color as well as the white color. And I did get it in onyx this time. The top is called the Shaping Swim Unlined Underwire Bikini. This was 1,200 rand for the top. And in the bottoms, I finally got a pair of high-waisted bottoms. In the last haul, I ordered a high-waist pair and they didn't come. So these are also an onyx. They're called the Shaping Swim High-Waisted Bikini Bottom. And these were 1,050 Rand in an extra large. To me, this is like a classic forever swimming costume. Like, I feel like you need that one black bikini that is gonna last you forever and you know she rides for you she dies for you whoa okay kim kimberly oh my gosh i actually feel like i spoke to you through my last haul because this is what i wanted on the front of that long sleeve black top and now it's on the back of this i swear that this clasp is probably made out of are you made out of plastic? <laughs> wait a minute this is made out of plastic Yeah. 
I mean, it's fucking hefty, right? It's a very thick, hard plastic, but plastic. Maybe I don't understand the science behind making a swimming costume. I get that like metal stuff might rust. Okay, besides that, this is the gorgeous top. It is like a balcony kind of balcony, ooh, balcony kind of thing. Oh my goodness, they have lined the straps with the same kind of silicone material so that they don't keep falling down and literally like all the way from the front to the back even like to the top over here that is a lovely touch and then this is the first thing that i've ever had from skims that is underwired i mean i can't tell you too much about underwiring but what i can tell you is that you can see if it's poorly made if they're poking out and this looks really good to me we have no pokies over there no pokies over there so she looks good this is not the kind of swimming costume that you can put a cup in and i think that because of its thickness like that's perfectly fine for me um i know that some people might be a bit like insecure about showing nipples and stuff which you shouldn't because every single fucking human on the planet has nipples and they are normal and then to go with that we have these high waisted buttons how much did these retail for 1050 rand okay here we go so these are the bottoms jeez these are like gonna suck me into the gods yeah there's not much to say about these bottoms other than the fact that we have that really cool curvature again so i feel like if you were like kind of insecure about having a square waist which you shouldn't be because that's a beautiful body and so is every kind of other body shape this would definitely cinch you in at the waist so I cannot wait to try this on. <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm actually a little bit speechless right now. I was trying this on in my bathroom next door and I just um, caught myself staring in the mirror like this. Baby, don't do that, please. Whoa! Guys, this is literally the prettiest black two-piece that I have ever owned, ever seen in my entire life. Like when they talk about classic pieces, this is what comes to mind now. I can just picture myself like on a boat in Positano living my best rich auntie life while feeling extremely supported. Oh, I really have no words guys. Um, added to that, I think that the top is too small for me and I think you can normally gauge that by how the wire fits. So now as you can see like the wire is kind of lifted, it's touching my boob over here but it's not like there and I think that that's like where it's supposed to be, uh, specifically this wire over here. And then added to that like the straps are just for me on the short side, like these are not adjustable straps, you can't do anything about that but I love these straps like the gooey stuff they're not going anywhere guys and then moving on to the bottoms confusing because these are also a extra large as the other ones have been and I feel like these fit pretty well tiny bit tight over here but that's what you would like get for shapewear and I was also thinking to myself earlier like why would I want to get loose shapewear you feel me? It goes up so nice and high over here um, and you can see that it's literally on my skin. There's no like weird straight down over here. We have a lot more coverage in the back this time. This little waistband is definitely tight enough and um, it's not like irritating me or like rolling down in the front. This is 3000 times peach approved through and through. I know some of you must have been like, girl, that's just a plain black bikini, but it's not. It's everything and more. Our final piece is the one that I am so, so, so keen to try on. This is called the Shaping Swim Underwire One Piece in Marble. So marble is a new color to the collection. It is just kind of like this off-white. Both of the full swimming costumes are 1,900 rand. And I also got this in an extra large. Damn. 
This means every time I take one out the package, I'm just like, what? The material is crazy. <gasps> okay, so I really hope that this is not overexposed on the camera, but let me look at you. Wow, this is beautiful. This is a well-constructed garment. So it's taken everything from the cocoa swimming costume and then that black top that we just tried on over here so we still have like the silicone straps we have the cups i highly doubt that this would be see-through when you swim because it's one an off-white color and two like the thickness of this is insane like one of these layers is it feels like thicker than a double layered normal swimming costume so then you take a normal swimming costume and double that up and this is that it's just timeless this design is absolutely a classic for the win. Mm. I really am praying to the swimwear gods that you fit my body. And if you don't, I'm gonna make you fit my body. Because <laughs> we are about to be best friends. I was rooting for you, I really was. This is like a bit of a late down. I think we've done, been doing pretty well. And I even saved the best for last, but I just feel like this is not hitting the mark for me. And I think it's only because I'm too tall for the swimming costume. Otherwise, I think it's absolutely magnificent. The support that it's giving me is amazing. It's exactly the same as the Coco one. Not as much coverage as the high-waisted pants, but still like a good cheeky coverage i think we have a lovely position on the back over here the back is nice and low there's no real bulging uh, the straps are amazing um just exactly the same as the black one we just tried on but the problem is is it like torso wise it's too short for me uh, I really had to like play around and adjust this um, and even pull it up like from the inside to make it like sit here but this is way too low. It should be like more like up here. Funnily enough the wiring is fitting well sitting a little bit more on my boobs in this one but like you can see this is where it should probably be um, and that's where it is so it's confusing me. Like if I got an, a 2XL in this, like I just don't think that it would do the job that this is doing for like the shapewear search. It's a bit of a pity. I, I, mean, I mean, I think it still looks good. I think it's still like a, a, a classic piece, but like this cup is just too small for me and it's not an adjustable strap either. And I can, it's quite like, it's quite, what do you call it? Weighing down on my shoulders. <sighs> what do you guys think? Am I being nuts? You can't even see my belly button, so that's how like thick this fabric is. I don't know. It's, I mean, it's not like I'm getting shorter anytime soon, so I really need your help with this one, guys. Do I send this back or do I keep it? Maybe I need a little bit of time and then after reading your guys' comments, maybe I'll keep it. Dawning design. And then I am poor as fuck now. <laughs> I do these things for you guys to try and make you smile or make better consumer purchasing decisions. Don't forget to subscribe and please leave a super thanks if you would like to contribute to the new microphone. Stay peachy guys. Love and light people. Bye.